Now this question is related to aldol reaction. Question says the number of aldol reactions that occurs in the given transformation is. So we have been given a reaction and we have to find how many times aldol reaction occurs in the given sequence. So let us try I have CH3 CHO and I have HCHO and NaOH is given to you in a lull reaction if you remember NaOH acts as a base now only one type of carbon ion possible I can remove hydrogen from here alpha hydrogen we does not have in formaldehyde so I can make carbon ion from here so let us discuss mechanism by mechanism so in the first step I have to generate a carbon ion from here so I am generating this carbon ion and this carbon ion will basically attack on this formaldehyde so if this attacks on this formaldehyde what will happen you will have CH3HCO- HCH2 and then CHO now you can take H plus from here from water you can take H plus and you can write this is CH2OH and this is CH2CHO so you see if I do one time aldol reaction what has happened one hydrogen is removed and place of one hydrogen we have added one CH2OH group so this is one time aldol reaction if I do the same thing next time so this is aldol reaction second time if I do the second time aldol if I do the second time aldol what will happen one more hydrogen will be replaced by CH2OH group so I will have C this side I will have CH2OH I will have CH2OH and here I will have CHO and here I will have hydrogen I still have a alpha hydrogen so this hydrogen is alpha hydrogen I still have a alpha hydrogen so I can do one more time aldol reaction so let us do third time aldol reaction so if I do third time aldol reaction this hydrogen is again replaced by CH2OH group so I will have C CH2OH this side also I will have CH2OH here I have CH2OH and here I have CHO now see this compound does not have any alpha hydrogen so now this does not have any alpha hydrogen because this carbon corresponding carbon is alpha carbon hydrogen attached to this carbon is called alpha hydrogen so this compound does not have any alpha hydrogen so this does not have any alpha hydrogen so what will happen in the next step I have this molecule I also have formaldehyde so let me write so I can write CH2OH I can write in the same way that the uh, answer has written so I can write in this way I have carbon so this carbon this carbon is this carbon and then I have CH2OH this is CH2 this is OH this is CH2 this is OH this is CH2 and this is OH and I have C double bond O and H I have HCHO molecule also I have OH minus so I don't have any option for aldol so since this compound does not have any alpha hydrogen this also does not have any alpha hydrogen so now aldol reaction will not take place but Kaninjaro reaction will take place so now Kaninjaro will occur
So Kanenjaro reacts and will occur. If you remember what happens in Kanenjaro reaction, this lone pair will attack on this, this opens up, returns back and one hydrogen will shift here. Are you getting or not? So finally this will get oxidized, oxidized and this will get reduced. Whenever you have formaldehyde, formaldehyde always gets oxidized and reason we generally discuss in the theory part. So what will happen? This gets reduced, then aldehyde gets reduced and aldehyde will be formed alcohol. So finally this gets reduced and I will have, I already have OH, OH, OH and this gets reduced so I will have CH2, OH. And now this will be oxidized, so I will have HCOO minus. Since the medium is basic, we can write CH HCO minus Na plus. So if you see the final product, this is the final product that is given the reaction. You see, this is the final product, carbon, and each side you have CH2OH, CH2OH, CH2OH. You see how many times aldol reaction we have done. So we have done three times aldol and one time Kanenjaro reaction. In this question it is asked how many times we have done aldol. So we can say three times we have done the aldol transformation. That is answer is C. So we have done, we have done three times aldol reaction.